By the end of this video, you will be clear on what functions are, how to use functions in Python, and you will be able to code your own short Python program that lets you know whether or not a number is within a certain range. So, let's go! So, what is a function in Python? A function is a piece of code which runs only when it is called and which has a special purpose. Think of it this way. Let's say you're in charge of a building site and you need to call different specialists or functions to help you get the job done. Maybe you call an architect for design plans, a plumber for water and carpenters. You need the specialists to provide their exact functions when you call them if you want to make progress on the project. Functions are the building blocks of a Python program. They perform specific tasks and practically they break the program into smaller modular chunks which can easily be edited and updated. But let's get into an example so you can see what I mean. <laughs> So for this particular exercise, I'm going to be using the Python IDE, which is part of Anaconda, and I'm basically using this because it has the console incorporated, which will make it easier for us to verify our code as we go through it. So let's get started. In order to be able to define a function, we need to actually give it a name, and we usually need to give it a name that relates to the problem we have at hand. And since we said in the beginning of the video that we want to create a program that verifies whether or not a number is within a certain range, I'm just going to name it range check. So let's get into the code and let me show you how we do that. So in order to define a function, we do def. This is the name of the definition of the function. So def range check and parentheses. Well, inside these parentheses, you need to give it sometimes parameters or arguments. And for our example, I'm just going to give it the parameter i, and you will see why. And then go on the next line. So def range check of i. Well, this is the definition of the function. Then we have the name of the function, which you can give any name to, but make sure that it relates to the problem you have at hand. And then i, which is the parameter, which is optional. But for this exact example, I'm giving it i because we're going to need to go through a certain range to verify whether or not the number i is in that range. So let's go on the next line. Now we're going to do an if clause. So if i in a range Let's give it 10 to 22. So what I did here is an if clause. So if the number I'm looking for is in the range of 10 to 22, then we're going to do print i is in a range. Else print the number is not in range. Here we go. So what I did was to print the number that we were looking for and say that the number is in range in case the number is actually in range after we verify this. Otherwise, so else, we print the number is not in range. So when I say print, I mean that we're going to have the program to output us that the number is not in range. Okay, but now we're not exactly done. If you remember what I said in the beginning of the video, what we needed to do in order to have a function, we need to have it being called. So we need to call the function. We need to know what the result is, right? So I'm going to do it right now. So I'm going to do range check of, and now is the interesting part, instead of i, because i is just a theoretical number, instead of i, I'm just going to give it a number between 10 and 22. And let's see if it outputs, yes, the number is between 10 and 22. So range check of 14. Now I'm going to run it. 
and it does say 14 is in range, so our program actually works. But let's see what happens when I give it a number that is not in the range that we said. So let's say range check of 9. The number is not in range. So here we go. This is what a function in Python looks like. So you basically need to define it, need to give it a name, optionally give it parameters, and then ask it to do a specific task. That's what functions are all about. This is how you can break your program into modular chunks, smaller chunks. This chunk of the program is actually going to verify whether or not a number is within a specific range. So by the end, what you needed to do was to call your function, which is very important because when you work with a bigger program, you need to see what your modular chunk here, what the function you just created outputs. So that is also a way of verifying yourself and see that you're on the right track when you're creating a bigger problem, a bigger program. So this was it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know down in the comments what type of tutorials you would like to see next here on my channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.